Vladimir Konstantinov, in his day, one of the NHL's most physical players. He brought it every night. That's something that our team needed at the time, too. We needed someone that, that can play with that force. And he is just hammered by Constantino. Finishing checks, and he was just a fierce competitor and a warrior. Now you know why they call him the Flatiator. That was Konstantinov 12 years ago. <laughs> this oh is Vladimir Konstantinov today. Good job. His world forever changed by events that took place in June of 1997. And the 1997 Stanley Cup Finals getting set to get underway. Konstantinov was a star defenseman for the 1997 Detroit Red Wings, who won the franchise's first Stanley Cup in 42 years. This cup so long, and you deserve this cup for you. Guys. Thank you. Six days after winning the cup, the euphoria ended abruptly. Breaking news tonight two of our hockey town heroes are in the hospital, and they're in pretty serious condition. A limousine carrying Konstantinov, his teammate Slava Fetisov, and team masseuse Sergei Manatsakhanov veered off the road and crashed into a tree in suburban Detroit. The accident left Konstantinov in a coma. The prognosis from the very beginning, there was terrifying. They were saying that he might not gonna survive and leave longer than a few days. We would ask everyone's support and prayers for our teammate, Vladdy. I was in between crying and collapsing and praying. And I'm not sure how much praying I've done. Um, but I think he's just uh, his own hero. I think he just went through the toughest moment. And he lived. He lived from what was supposed to be the end. Fatisov suffered minor injuries, and Manatsakhanov was paralyzed below the waist. Konstantinov suffered brain damage and was initially unable to walk or talk. The following season, his teammates preserved his locker, and he became the inspiration in Detroit's quest for a second consecutive title. He was still a piece of our team. We wanted to win for, for Vladi's sake. The Red Wings delivered the cup, literally, into Konstantinov's lap. Eisenman now gives the Stanley Cup to Vladimir Konstantinov. That poignant snapshot is the one many fans hold in their memory. Better. Three. But that image of helplessness is something Konstantinov has worked hard for 11 years to change. How are things going with uh, your exercise? Good. Are you feel like you're getting any better? Better. What's getting better? Ski walk, walk. The walking's getting better? Today, Konstantinov has gained some level of independence. He is able to walk with assistance. While he still requires 24-hour care, he is capable of communication, comprehension, and sometimes even a little golf. And what else do you practice? Your short game or your long game? Short. Your short game he practices. Putting and so on. How do you do with your putting? Bad. <laughs> Occasionally, Konstantinov is a guest at Red Wings games, where the players welcome him in the locker room. After the accident, he's slowly not going back to where he was, but I think he's trying. I think it brings some joy to him to be able to come back and, and see some of the guys, but just feel the atmosphere in the building. I think he found his own way to deal with it. And he knows what his limitations are by now. He challenges himself, and um, he is doing it great. How are you? How are you, doing? you were my idol growing up. Man. You're my hero. 
love you, Vladdy. We do.